So this uh, Arizona green tea bottle is actually filled with something from the Hawaiian Punch Company. It's something that is pineapple and coconut flavored called White Water Wave. Now these are the fortune cookies, some of them anyway, that came with the Americanized Chinese food Dad got the other day. Dad tends to get a party tray. With an inherently discounted price. So we tend not to have any of the fortune cookies on the first day. We get Americanized Chinese food. Spring has sprung. Life is blooming. A bit early for that. Technically, winter hasn't even started yet. Uh, though it started snowing a long time ago. Untruthful conversation. Eh, some rumors do turn out to be false. But then some others also turn out to be true. I had another Arizona bottle full of the Whitewater Wave Hawaiian Punch drink with the Singapore noodles. that I basically had for lunch at two different times. Although technically the first the smaller portion with two Shashan Wang Tons that first portion was around eleven and it was for breakfast breakfast technically speaking. Actually, I think I had that portion around 2.30. Now that I think about it more, 2.30 p.m. Because I spent quite a bit of time today finishing that lovely day for a Guinness styrofoam drawing that evolved out of... Excuse me, Dad wanting me to draw the Guinness Bird Slash Toucan as a styrofoam drawing. Currently here on the task sets, I have the larger portion 
around 4.30 p.m. And it, and it came with the last Session Wonton. And Dad gave me permission to eat it you know, over a phone call. I will microwave the smaller portion for a minute and 15 seconds and the larger portion for one and a half minutes. Uh, this is a chocolate chip muffin, I believe. Dad said. I finished this styrofoam drawing at 8.15 p.m., but took a picture of its front, a.k.a. the part that features the Guinness bird. Around 3.30 p.m., since by that point, all I had left to do was the back of this, of that styrofoam drawing. So presumably, even though at the time it was unfinished, it would look finished. From the picture. Since by that point, only the back needed to be drawn in. Uh, today, uh, there's an exclusive building, and it's a mana-producing building. It's currently 9.44 p.m., Hmm. All right, I got it. It's a two by four building. The priority for city expansions right now is to get one for this ancient wonder as well as to get some additional space for for the Wood Elves settlement. I have a research expansion that I can place, but I don't have the gold yet to activate it. Around 5 p.m. roughly, I decided to do I upload decided to do and upload a Ruffman gameplay on the old Dish It Out game. Which in roughly four hours or so has gotten roughly 11 views according to the 
channel content under videos page. If you go to the, ch according to my channel dashboard, it's actually nine views. Uh, the di the discrepancy could be dis could be explained by maybe those nine views being verified. According to YouTube. I recall there being rough having roughly three cups of coffee around the times of the time between ten in the morning and noon. I like having my coffee plain, since uh, that way it's at its healthiest and I enjoy the taste of coffee. My perspective has always been that adding Milk and sugar doesn't really do anything to change the to change the taste. So I may as well have it plain. I spent some time in the afternoon working on getting the non-broken window custom prop from when Michael kicks in a shop window in order to set up the alarms and get help for Kyle the Uber driver. as close as possible to how the window looks before I had to use a custom prop. For it. Yeah, so far I managed to get pretty close. I've gotten pre pretty close in getting the scene to not change. When Michael kicks and breaks the window. <sighs> to the point where I'm not quite sure if I can get it. Uh, much closer due to maybe some of the distortion being inherent to using the snipping tool in order to 
get the source material I need in order to make custom props for Lunapic. Uh, lately, I've been investing all of my knowledge points into this, since if I get it to level 5, then I could... Then I have to refill that Ancient Wonders runes, and I could get broken shards to use on future Ancient Wonders in order to forge their runes and fill in their slots for free, essentially. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what the best strategy is for this. Um, hmm. I already have that, and even if I didn't, it seems like it just changed that, so that wasn't really very effective. I kind of doing this in the hopes of getting another artifact for the evolvable building, since that's one of my priorities right now. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I got some orcs from that. I could also get some mana from that. It isn't really worth it, though. Since, if I recall, I'm pretty close to... a mana decay right now. It appears they changed up the standard goods interface, changing magical to precious. Hmm. I have the window in the spare room open just enough to make the temperature range from room temperature to slightly below room temperature, which for me is much more comfortable than slightly above room temperature. <laughs> 